Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of FAFW. It is me, your FAFW champion, Daniel, and <laughs> here comes the international champion, Jackson, who said he was going to take care of Scott tonight. But Scott wanted to come straight to the horse's mouth. He said to me at work, Daniel, you'll make Jackson work even survive against me and I was like okay you won't you think you would survive you won't survive against you think that Jackson's won't survive against you how about we take this out personally so I'm gonna deal with Scott tonight and I said Jackson how about I give you a championship contenders match someone needs to have the ability to cash in against you and so Billy Smith said hey I'll do it I'll face the international champion, I'll cash in against him, and once I beat him tonight, I want to cash in against him. So ladies and gentlemen, thank God there's no one in that other booth over there tonight. I've got the other booth on the right hand of the screen. I'm in the booth on the left hand of the screen. Yes. Admittedly, on the other brand, Connor returned. And I will admit, we were separated on Monday Night Raw, but this is my brand, damn it! He's still banned from ringside. He's still banned from commentating it next to me. I mean, unless he buys a ticket here live in Belfast, Northern Ireland. I mean, unless he personally got a ticket, to, he bought a ticket for FAFW here tonight. And his opponent, from London, England, weighing in at 227 pounds, Billy Smith. Which, by the way, my cousin is going to be here tonight. My cousin Lee and his girlfriend, Emma. And he said, tonight, Emma. In front of the live crowd, uh, got an, a huge announcement to make. Now, I don't know what that announcement can be, but uh, just before we go off the air tonight, for four hours of fifth and final dark match between Freddy B. Ready and Maintenance Man and Colin, we are gonna have the arena where Lee is gonna come out here and, well, for whatever reason, with his girlfriend. I, I, I don't know what he's got planned. But, I tell you this, going back to this matchup, this is an opportunity for Billy Smith. Now Billy Smith, of course, the other he, is, he won a big war game back on my what, second pay-per-view. Warzone, he, he, he made his debut to win the FAFW Championship. <laughs> but as long as I'm champion, no one is going to have a chance to become the FAFW Champion. You can line them all up and I'll knock them all down, damn it. Come on, Jackson, buddy. Let's go. Show Billy who's boss. That's it, Jackson. <laughs> there you go. There's a clothesline for you. And a... Oh, come on! Don't let me down. I, you, well, remember, I can't f help you tonight in this non-title match. Thankfully, you know, Stephen has got his hands full tonight and, you know, I don't want you to get injured. You're supposed to be in the corner for Stephen tonight. So, and I want you to still be my international champion. There you go, Jackson. There you go. The power and the strength of Jackson here. Jackson the assassin. Look at that. Just a big suplex on the outside. 
Well, you, they, I don't care who you are, but the Dan Nations will be here for a very, very long time. You're either with, it, or you're either with us or against us. And Billy Smith, you picked the wrong goddamn team to deal with here. We have taken over FAFW. We are the champions of FAFW. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Hold on for a knee, but Jackson able to counter. Good man, good man. Oh, went for a suplex, but gone out of it. Oh, no. This is not good. But Jackson again fighting back, showing why he's a fighting champion. Again, look at the strength. Look at the power. So strong, he ripped his arm, <laughs> ripped a hole in his arm. Uh, short. That's a suplex and a pin. Go on, Jackson. Beat his ass. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Jackson, bust him open. Bust him open, damn it. That's to kick his ass. Hit that, JKO. No, wait! No, 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 no. This is not... Oh, no. No, wait, yes! There you go, Jackson. There's a cartridge suplex. Power bomb on to the outside. Now he rolls on to the outside. I'm telling you, Jackson. You're going to bring it in all the big m money if you stick with us. The international champion, WWE champion on, in WWE. He's keeping the WWE championship safe in back in San Antonio, Texas. Or back in the, the headquarters, WWE headquarters, until he has to defend it. But I don't really care about WWE. It's FAFW here. Look at this Jackson tearing him apart on the outside. Referee up to five. You gotta be aware of the referee's tech count. And Jackson gets him back into the ring. And look at this Jackson going all the way, all the way to the top rope. Oh no! Oh no! That's a good discus clothesline! No, no! Oh man. There's a running knee! My god! The power of Billy going for it. Oh my god! There's an air raid siren! Not good! Oh, it Jackson gets out of it! And. And your days! <laughs> One, two, I'm sorry. Jackson, finish it. Finish this nonsense. But I will be splash off the goddamn top. Finish it, Jackson. What? No! He counters it again! Uh oh. Uh oh. God damn it, Pumpkin! Oh my god! Going for it all! The Fixer Upper! Oh no! Kick out of it! Kick out of it! Yes! God damn it, yes! You lovely, beautiful man! Jackson! You are my boy! You are my right hand man! You are the Vice President of the Dan Nations! We ha all have our role to play. Like the German warriors. They are my brutes of the team. They are the brutes. Steven, he is the all-star player. And Jackson is the vice president. And I am the leader. Oh no. 
Run and oh, come on, Jackson. You don't have to get back into the ring. Just stay there. Take your loss. It doesn't matter. You know, matches like this. They come and go. Remember, you're still a champion at the end of it. And you see, torn him right in. That is how you play the game, Jackson. That is how you play the game. And just like that, Jackson is back on top of this matchup. Combinations after combinations. That is how you do it. Get back in the ring, Jackson. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about a thing. Take your time. See, is just going around the ring, taking his time. You see, this is all he's waiting for. What the? Don't get distracted, Jackson. Don't get distracted. That's it. Block that flying close line. And now hit. End of. No! Wait a minute. Are you serious right now? Billy Smith is actually taking down Jackson. If he wins match, match, he'll be able to catch in against Jackson later down the line in the 50th episode, perhaps. Hell no! Hangman DDT! Oh no! Oh no! That's gonna ring your bell! Yes! That's it, Jackson! My man! Fuck! God! There you go! Finish him off! Far away slam! And he's rolling outside the ring again. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, see Jackson, you don't need to show off in front of these idiots. Here life and bell fast. There you go. What goes up? Must come down, my nice spine buster. Followed up by a big splash. Come on, Jackson, hit it. Hit that move that you like to call the end of days. Look at our power, look at that strength. 16 years of age and this man can lift people twice the size of them. Oh no! Back up on. Uh oh. Jackson, that's it. roll out the ring. Do the smart thing. Perfect. That's it, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about it. Oh no, no, it's been taken down by a short attack. Good God. What a match. Now he's pulling him down for a Fuji Wuji on bar. Ah, God damn it! No! Cross wire! The cross wire! Cross wire! Submission! Fuji Wuji on my submission hole. Okay, thank God. No shoulder tackle didn't even budge him. Uh oh, look at this. There you go, Jackson. Run onto the barricade. Get him back in the rim. Finish it off. Finish it off. Yeah, see, you're listening to me. You're listening to me. Finish it off. There we go. I told you to finish him off. <laughs> After being hit on the barricade. You gotta be joking. What a way to start off that VFW in a non-title match like this. It's over. GKO! You are gone. You are down. You are gonna be finished with end of days, buddy. Good night, Billy. Zala. Goodbye, Soranara. Yes! <laughs> Jackson wins again. This is why he is the international champion. And what the hell? Oh my god, no! That son of a bitch, where did he come from? Chat, goddamn Connor! Son it's of an iron, brother. I ain't going nowhere! You son of a bitch! Where the hell did you uh, Did you buy a ticket, you son of a bitch? No, I broke into your office. You fucker. You'll pay for that. Ooh. 
Hey, uh, guys, go ahead and move away from my other announce table. We're keeping it. Bob, what are you doing? Mm. Why are you placing that headset on? The you. I'm moving my gold. The triple threat match, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be up next. Aaron, Rob, and my uncle Mick in a British rules triple threat match. It's going to be wild. It's going to be big. As here comes that son of a bitch kind of sitting next sit on the right hand side of the screen. God damn it. Just go to the next match already. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to FAFW. Hope you're all having a lovely night. I know I am. And next up, we got a, we got a triple threat British rules match. And here comes my uncle. <laughs> you know what? If you were over there, you have yourself a heart attack, and he goes to revive you. I will tell him. I will pay him enough money to say no. Leave him be. Oh, are you so upset about the little Kendo thing? No, uh, trust me, the damn nations. We're gonna get our revenge because J well, because J Fire is in a championship match against Steven and he's gonna get the whole paybacks of bits, let me tell ya. And if Game Fire would win, they can say I have a little present for Steven. Oh really? He, he likes presents, right? Good surprises, not bad ones. Oh, who said it's a bad surprise? Honestly. Well, I guess we will have to focus on this man right here. Oh, another former champion, and a former all-star champion, former uh, international champion. Rob, my, uh, he, I used to work for this man, but now the ironic thing is he works for me in this universe. <laughs> Well, agile for a big man, that's for sure. The can become can become a bit of a surprise for anyone who faces him. Hey, easy with the fireworks there. Nearly made me spill my drink. <laughs> well... There's plenty more where that came from. Well, they'll try, and also there'll be fireworks if you go, if if you try and come near me. Relax, Dan. Honestly, clean your jets. I have no quarrel with you now. All right. So you can bring uh, security with you if you want to hold your hands. And here comes Aaron. The guy I work with, and uh, we worked with each other early on today, and well, he said, I want to be put in a match, so I don't care who it's against, and well, how about a triple threat British rules match? I mean, honestly, this is the best type of match you are to prove yourself that you want to be the best. And one of these three men are definitely going to prove who is the best among them. 100%! I can safely say that, you know, I've changed the way things uh, go here on FAFW. Well, there's going to be a fish match added, but you guys at home won't be able to see it. But me and Connor will. It's going to be in a dark match. And my uncle Big going toe to toe with Rob here. Interesting choice to go for him first. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Go after the guy who seems like the biggest threat. Pretty obvious when you put the threat match. The only problem is, is once you do, you got one other guy in your way of victory. I hate to agree Ooh. with you, but it's true. Oh! Oh! 
That's a nice takedown I think, by Aaron. I mean, he hasn't really had much luck here in the FAFW. But, you know what? I, Uh oh, you count, can you count? Ah. Oh, count got interrupted. Oh, takedown. Nice takedown by Aaron here. That's, oh, what the hell is he going to do here? Where's that boot going? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, and I think that was the wrong target. Yeah, that mean. Oh, my. I hope Jessica is all right. Uh, you better pay for a medical bills in case something happens. I mean... Um, oh no! Oh sweet Jesus! What the hell is Rob doing? Well this is how you certainly get extreme. Absolutely! Absolutely! Oh no! Look at this belly to oh. belly to belly and wait a minute, Mick's got a shovel. Oh, oh he had a shovel. Oh, this is the domination. Oh man, look at that. He <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, talk about burying someone. He quite literally buried that shovel into Aaron's gut. Uh oh. Oh man! Went for a clothesline, but nobody there. One. Aaron doing the smart thing. Because he, you know, Rob used to work with Aaron as well. So, did you really want to piss off Rob after, by trying to break the count? Well, it's also another. It's also for another reason, okay? He probably guessed that that wouldn't count to three, so there was no reason to break it up. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, Jesus! What the? Oh, kick. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well. Oops. I didn't mean to do something there. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've lost Connor's, uh... This, uh, actually Connor and also this Euro microphone cut out. Oh, did it? Hold on, I'm trying to re-establish connection with my microphone. It's working, I can hear you now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, my uh, camera feed ain't showing anything at the moment. The camera feed's not showing anything. Oh, that's a... Okay. Sorry. Your camera... Your cam okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got... The, we've got the feedback on the monitors, I believe. Is this true? Yep, I can see everything. Ooh, nice cross body. Man. Triple front match. Triple front match. My God, I can't remember. I need to remember what happens at the triple front match. Good God. Don't worry, the memory will come to you. Oh, get put oh no! Sweet Jesus and my god, Rob! Fuck on almighty! Oh, choking him up against the ropes. <laughs> yeah. What do you have in despair? No. Ooh! Oh my god! I, I don't mean I don't know why my my uncle Mick did it. Oh my god! Did you see that? that? Aaron for the pin! Oh god, I can't believe it. 
done. So no, no bullshit kick. It's not enough. They are in Belfast, Northern Ireland, the UAW crowd saying they want tables. And there's a chair shot from Rob. Don't someone get a goddamn table? They, uh, spear! Get God Almighty! That is gonna be it. Oh. Got him up and ooh, down to the ground. Flying cross body. Now we'll flip back into the ring. Going for the pin on the outside. One. Oh, those count anywhere, remember? Yeah, anywhere can get a pin. Hell, they might even go backstage and try to get a pin fall. Yeah. They, or maybe if I'm lucky enough, they'll come to that, that booth of yours and squish you and pin. As the now, when it looks of it, that's the Rob Stryer! <laughs> Ooh. Aaron staying back away from this! For good reason. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say of energy, the pinfall is not gonna be successful. Ooh! And. Mm. I had to go for the, I had to go for the shovel stop to get countered. Irish whip to the ropes. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's an arm drag. Oh, wait a minute. The heart stopper. This is going to make him tap out. The heart stopper. Submission. Oh, yes, he does. And Aaron taps out like the little bitch he is. And he's eliminated from this matchup. Oh. Rob now. Wait a minute, that's, I, forget, I remember now, that's why they didn't interrupt, because it's elimination, of course that's why, Daniel. Yeah, that's, that's why. Now, well now, now, now I guess it's really down to see who gets the lucky shot. Ooh, slamming their shoulder into the bear king. <laughs> Remember, fourth card in work! God almighty! I don't know who I want to root for now. I suppose it's my phone. It's a great match. Oh my god, and Aaron's still not able to get away from everybody. Huh. No matter where he goes, everyone wants to fight him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Just going all the way around the ring. Oh man. Uh oh, wait a minute, what's going to happen now? Here comes Mick! He's bleeding like a stuffed pig, I didn't notice! Oh wait! Holy oh, yeah. hell! Oh, really? There's no time for that! Just do what you need to do! Put him through the ladder, damn it! Oh. Come on, you gotta put it through the ladder! Oh, getting shot after shot! Oh man! What power from Rob! What a hell of an elimination triple threat match! My god! Oh my goodness! That shot is ready to be used. Oh! Uh oh! I think we try to go for a bear hug or something. Yeah! Uh oh! Wait a minute! On the outside! The Rob Stryer! I didn't really- Wait! He counted it! Chop block! Mm. Oh! 
Clothesline. Oh my god, what a match. It's, oh my god, again, it's going for double underhook suplex. Oh my, it's got the shoulder again. Looking to bury Rob. Ooh. Oh, oh, very funny. Oh my. Oh, watch out now. Thank you for the ring. Holy! He is a trap! Here comes Rob! Up, up! Rob! Rob Stroyer! One, two, three, up! Yeah. Rob is the winner! Congratulations to Rob! Rob victorious in this triple threat British rules match. Yes, indeed. I want to admit I am very impressed. But you know what? I'm hey, Danny, oh. do you know what I'm doing? What? A possible contender. Absolutely, a possible contender for a ch for a any championship he wants to cast you them against. But. You know what? You might as well announce the next match because I've got to go. And because I've got, um, well, Scott to deal with. Hmm. Cute. Anyway, well, the next match is clean and simple. It is Dan versus Scott. And that match is next. Well, people, it is time. There is your quote-unquote SAFW champion. Yes, I am like Daniel. I can play the middle zone. So I will admit what he did and how he's gotten that championship, what he's done lately. It's a bit of impressive, I won't lie. I'm not a stubborn, biased person. However, it does not, however, it does not give me the real from that stay, go fuck yourself, Dan. And I know you can hear me from down there. And so, as champion, he is up against Scott tonight, who I'm pretty sure would be happy to possibly pin Daniel for the 1, 2, 3. Now, I wish I could get that pleasure right now, but... Again, it would mess up my schedule. Give it up for me! Stop! Oh boy, I can already t I can already tell this match is going to be very entertaining for me. And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 180. There's Scott, ready for a fight, and I'm sure that he's I'm sure he's even more pumped up at the thought of getting a win over the SAFW champion. You wanted to, you wanted this, Scott. You wanted this. You picked on the wrong team, damn it. Alright, um. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through statistics here. Daniel here is a part time bitch. Now, Scott here, I, Scott here has been proven that he is a fighting, a fighting possible champion. And frankly, I frankly, while I am going to be biased here, I, not, I would enjoy seeing Scott pin Dan for the one, two, three.
Hey. Come here, Scott. Come here. Is underway. Uh, I got science to say before it. Just mother. Oh, 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 I will punish you after the match. So all I have to say is, oh! There you go. Shut him the fuck up. No one cares. Oh, elbows to the back. Make sure you get some to his face. Ooh. Oh no, you don't. Ooh, it's a knee to the f knee to the possible face and neck of Scott. You're gonna pay for this. Oh, going for a power bomb. Nope. Ooh. Bring it. Irish whips and ooh. Nope. Oh. oh, that's how I'm getting out of here. He only has one brain. He doesn't use it well. Yeah, I know. I'm getting out back in the ring. Come on, Scott. Come on. Wait, what the fuck, Graf? Ah, oh, what this stupid! He was just making sure you follow the rules. Oh, Irish whip! Ha! Ah, oh, what the? Oh! Uh. Oh, he's got him up! Oh boy! Uh. Ooh! And oh, missed that elbow. Hey! Boom! Shakalaka! Ah! <laughs> you could say there was no need for that. I am. All right, security. Can we get him out of here after the show? Hey, Connor. This one's for you. Oh. Ooh. Landing on the ropes is never fun, especially when they spring back up. Ooh. Scott ain't staying down for too long. Now chanting, we are not worthy. Uh -oh. oh, miss that headbutt. Shut up! Daniel now getting on the offensive. Oh, there you go, you finally hit one. Uh, I've had enough of this. Oh! Ooh. Okay. One, two. You son of a bitch! I dare you! You son of a. Right, that does it. You stupid uh, ref! Oh, uh, getting the ref attack. Uh, I don't know if he knows this, but he could get him disqualified. Or if he not know his own rules. You stupid. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, ref. Stay down. Oh. <laughs> Scott, get this, get this blind motherfucker. Ah. Bam. 
this shit. Oh, ah, looks like Denham was bleeding like a stuffed pig. Someone had to say it. Ooh. Damn it, it's too far away. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think he suddenly just realized he can't jump that far. Oh, that looked a bit familiar. <laughs> uh, a shame he doesn't know how to do a real one. There's another one for you. Ooh. Hey, breath. Get out of my ring! You too, you I idiot! Was doing Ooh. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a no disqualification match. Oh! The ref caught him! Oh! <laughs> well, Scott's getting some payback. Oh boy. This is not going to end well. Oh! Whoa, the table! Well, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> oh boy, with a missed shot from Dan allowing Scott to get, to get a bit of a low blow, and managed to put Dan through a table after the match. Who won? Well, I think, I think the winner is who's ever standing tall right now. And here's Dan heading back to his announce table. With the match on the screen, fuck off. Just announce the next match. This is, this is bullshit. You know what, Scott? How about this? You really want to see me in a tables match? Is that what you want? Fine. You know what? You got your wish. You've messed with the wrong team. And I'm telling you this now. You get the opportunity to cash in against me. And at the 50th anniversary of FAW, the 50th episode special, which I'm still working on the title for, you get to face me in the main event in a tables match. That fucking hurt. Now get this J Fire versus Steven matchup out the way so we can do this correct the correct way. Steven! You better do the correct job, otherwise I'm or oh, certain things are gonna go wrong here in FAFW. Uh, Seems like the damn nations are already falling apart. They are not falling apart, I can tell you that. Fucking. Well, it's hurts. pretty simple. You bought your match. Ja I attack Jackson, and hell, if Steven loses this championship match, championship next. Well, He's not losing. Karma's gonna be a bitch. Let's go to the next match already. Well, we're back. My back fucking hurts. Thank you very much, Scott, but you will get yours in that table match on the 50th episode. Blah, blah, blah. Can we just focus on the, on the match now? It is a championship match. Only because I gave Jay Fire in this match, okay? I felt sorry for him because he had the match won when I sent Steven after Jake Fire and he cost him the match. And you gotta love the you gotta love the the words on his jacket. It just it's pure poem. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind, this is a championship match. That means if Jay Fire 
Walked wins this match. You're looking at your new all-star champion. Yeah, absolutely. But that's not gonna happen. Look, then I get that you're bitter, alright? But come on, this is a championship match. At least show with enthusiasm, not with anger. Alright? Sure. Jay, sure, Steven could win, and tonight could be technically a win for the Damnations. But come on, show a little enthusiasm. Your boy's out here. Yeah, here we go, a man that knows a lot about you, and a lot about me, he, like, but can I ask you something, Connor? What did happen to that Get Well Soon card, that you supposedly took to him while he was in the hospital? I said, go to the hospital, visit, I, I, I spoke to you, and we knew that the referee had been done to death. And I said, hey, look, you, you wanted to go and visit him in the hospital? I said, here, take this Get Well Soon card, give it to him. But what happened? You didn't give it to him. Well, to be honest, I must have misplaced it because I honestly don't know where it went. Of course you don't. You wanted to set up this entire Grim Nations plan, and look what happened. Oh. That failed in front of your eyes. Every member became the champion, and then I took over, and now we're a success. Yeah, but Dan, I don't know if you know this, but there's there's always going to be a downfall for everybody. You certainly had a bit of a hiccup earlier, and so did Jackson. Look, what happened to Jackson was down to you attacking him after the match. But guess what? He still won. I, on the other hand, I got my rage built up. That's the only reason why I technically lost. He hit me with the Scott bottom. I was able to kick out. I hit him with my my finish. He kicked out. So I had no choice but to whack him with the steel chair. He put me through a table to get revenge. Blow blowing me in the process. And you know what? That's why I gave him the opportunity to cash in. Speaking of cashing in, right? I don't care who it is. If things are going south, then I'm gonna say during the match, plan B. Okay, plan B. If I play, I don't care who it is. They can come down, they can cash in halfway through the match, after the match, it doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Fire. And his opponent from Gray's England, weighing in at 224 pounds. <coughs> he is the action superstars heavyweight champion, Steven. Well, Steven, look at. Two. Looking to regain the championship. I don't care who it is. They can cash in against Jay Fire. If Jay Fire wins this, I will. I will bring out whoever wants to cash in against Jay Fire to become the champion. Then hand it over back to Stephen. That's my. That's my plan B. I'll keep in mind. All right. Jay Fire is always ready for a fight. Oh no! Counter! Uh oh! Oh no! You see, he's even not even wearing his street clothes, and not even wearing his uh, ring gear. He doesn't need to. Oh, there you go, Jay. Oh, come on, Stephen! Oh, that truck kick, but. He gets back up on his feet. 
See, and I know that Stephen won't make the same mistake as I did. Right, because he's not a moron. Shut up. Come on, Stephen. Oh, that jawbreaker took care of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. All right, Dan, I'm going to give a little challenge for you. If you could say one thing you were impressed by Jay by, what would it be? The one thing? You know what? Yeah, I am impressed with his uh, athleticism. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Like the code red right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, feeling cocky, huh? Well, Jay, time to go soaring. Oh, my God, no. Oh. The champ is in trouble. Ooh, there you go, Jay. I will give credit to Steven. He is oh, no. His oh, dear Ooh. Lord. What was that? Oh, no. Hey, Dan. You know how early they wanted tables? Oh no, he's really taking it to him. But you can't win the championship like that. Uh oh, no, wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no, no, Bob. The lower back. Oh, Stephen fighting back. Oh, there you go. There you go, Steve. There you go. Ooh. Just the right hands from the MMA fighter. You gotta be impressed. Ha ha ha! Here we go. Ha ha ha! What the? Oh boy! Wait a minute! What are you? What the hell is this? What the hell, Jacob? Not now! Not now! Jacob, you fool! Jacob, no, 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 no! You fool! Jacob, oh. what are you doing? You absolute moron! He, he's cashing oh, in! Man. He's it's cashing in! It's now a triple threat match! Here's for now. Oh my god, and do I gone? What's he gonna do? Oh, I see Jacob! Jacob! Stop J5 putting up. Keep in mind, he has an opportunity. Oh no! He hit! Oh, from behind! It's now a triple front match! What in the world is going on? Oh, J5! J5 taken out! But Oh, and it's Jacob from behind! Good God! No! I can't believe it! He's cashing in! Did we go on the old start champion? I can't believe this, Jacob! You idiot! What do you mean? It's a perfect opportunity! Both men are injured! Alright? Both men have been through a lot! Why can't he cash in now? Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. This is not a triple threat match, this is a handicap match! Oh man! Oh, oh no! Oh dear lord! Oh, Jacob! Oh. On the outside! Oh, see if it remembers that Jacob's on the outside, would hate for him to ruin things! Oh, you might be right! Oh, good lord. Oh, oh no. Power bomb! Oh my god. Jake, fire! Come on, bro. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a from behind and Jay Fire landed running in front of the American announce table. Oh no, oh wait a minute. Ooh, oh it's your body no. Spread. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Stephen, you're in trouble, mate. You're in trouble. Oh Eric, wait, J Fire's back up. 
Oh, wait a minute. Nadik, wait a minute. Yes. And just for a moment, no DQ in a triple threat. Oh, oh. Okay. Get the other one. Oh, my God. This is a bad time for Jacob to cash in. Now he's got that. Oh, my God. Who who is going to win? Come on! One! Two! Oh my god! Son. Three! He is able to get! And now Steve! Oh no, we can see them! I don't know why the referee's picking up the weapon! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, tag teaming in a triple threat match! Oh, I think he hit Steve by accident! I don't think it was an accident! Oh, Steven better watch out. Jake could get a romp or even get a cheap, cheap shot in. Oh, yeah, right in the corner. Oh, oh Jake, fire. Ooh. Like a house of fire, no pun intended. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think he wants to get him through a table. Oh, what a headbutt! Where the hell did Jacob come from? Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> there you go! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Well, Steven's getting back up. At least I feel he was. Uh oh, wait a minute. Jay oh. Fire. Come on, Jay! Oh, what a sling blade like maneuver! Uh, oh! Well, uh, oh no! Pop, pop, sit down, power bomb! Any one of these men can hit their finisher, and it could be game over. Could be. Well, he needs to do something. He needs to get back into the ring. Uh, oh, man, that would be smart, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Open to the barricade. Oh, 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 Jacob's up and he does not look happy. He does not. Steven just spoke to him, Jay, not, not noticing the um, recovering Jacob. Oh, man. Oh, again, there's that missed. Oh, man. Ooh, a kick to the head cannot feel nice. I'm sorry, but it can't. Oh man, Jay Fire. Meanwhile, I think Steven is all dazed and confused. Oh man, multiple shot, shots onto the table. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh boy. Jay Fire may be in trouble here. God bless. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, Jay Fire has been taken out. But hey, wait a minute. Steven! Wait a minute, what's he doing? Oh, wait a minute! Oh my god. Oh, my god. He's trying to get back in the ring. He couldn't make it! Steven retains! Yes, sir!
You see, it doesn't matter if it's Jacob. Cash it in or Joe Fire. Stephen is that man. He overcame the odds. You stupid moron. Connor, look at that. Look in the middle ring. Who's that champion? Huh? Overcoming the odds. Yeah, overcoming the odds. Here's the thing, Jacob, the plan was cash in after the match against Jay Fire, but it was impatient enough to go dumb moron. So there you go. That's what happens when you look at greedy people, Dan. That's not my problem. But then... Well, it will be your problem now. That is the end of the matches. However, coming up next, folks, my cousin has a special announcement to make. With his girlfriend, Emma, in the middle of the ring. He wants her out there in the middle of the ring. We're going to have to go to that in just a sec. Emma is out here and, you know, the, we're at ringside, ladies and gentlemen. He's talking to her. You, okay, yeah, that's like he's saying uh, for, he's loved her for a long time. Wait. He's facing her. She is looking nervous. Wait, wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Oh, no. Oh, oh my god, he just proposed to her. Wait a minute. What, wait a minute, what's the answer going to be? Oh, I think that's a yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, congratulations to Lee and Emma. And I'm gonna break the fall floor. This is a reenactment to what happened in real life. In all seriousness, folks, uh, this is a reenactment to my cousin Lee, who proposed to his girlfriend Emma in real life. And this is my way saying congratulations. Hopefully I can make it to the wedding, whenever you, whether it be two years from now, three years from now. And I hope your life together uh, goes really, really smoothly. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck in, for your future together. And your little boy as well. And I hope you have many, many, spend many, many years together. And uh, Connor, I don't know if you want to add anything to this in all seriousness. I think you said everything, I, every, anything I wanted to say. Congratulations to the both of you. And until uh, uh, next time, congratulations once again, Lee. Uh, this has been FAFW. It's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from and a goodbye from me. And everyone here on, on on tonight's show, congratulations, buddy. I knew you could make a woman out of her. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to subscribe. If you want to watch the previous video, then click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the playlist that's on the right.